For consecutive seasons, Whitehawk and Dulwich Hamlet lock horns at the enclosed ground in an FA competition, this time last 32 action from the FA Trophy. Dulwich have already enjoyed cup success this week, advancing to the quarterfinals of the Alan Turvey Trophy by overcoming Faversham Town at Champion Hill. A win in this tie would put them to the last 16 of the competition for the first time since 1984. And after resting players against Faversham, Gavin Rose recalls Drage, Chambers, Clunas, Beanie, Tomlin and Carew to the side. The Hawks have been going through a tough period in the league recently, picking up just one point in the last seven games. They also lost to Crawley Town in the Sussex Senior Cup in midweek, despite debutant Kevin Lisby giving them an early lead. However, a win for them today would give them a last 16 berth for the first time in their history. They bring in Ramon Marimon, Mike West and Connor Teague for his debut. In five previous meetings, Dulwich have not beaten the hosts. Can they set the record straight and continue this trophy adventure? Glenn Southam to take. Both centre-backs forwards. Mills standing on the goal line. It's tall frame. Looking for any flicks at the near post. In by Southam. Weatherstone got the touch. Struck from distance by West. Always going off, challenge, off to target. And away for a goal kick. Weatherstone dealt with the last one. How will Dulwich deal with this one? It was near post. It's Beanie, the captain for Dulwich, who gets it away for the time being. Back wide with Glenn Southam. And Bongu forward. His ball in, well controlled by Teague. And volleys into the body of Matt Drage. Carew, Tomlin running the right channel. Got to cover some ground on his own here. Clunis is making strides into the middle. Tomlin's still in possession. Harding just slowing him down. He has support from Kenny Beanie. On for Ming. Got away from Abdullah, low ball in, Carew got there first. On for Tomlin, good attack for Dulwich. And saved by Stewart is near post. But certainly the away side's move of the game so far. Hamilton, who uh, has already seen one long throw going to the area from him. We'll do so again here. Green flicks it on towards Lisby. Might get a second go at it, Kevin Lisby. Cargbo pokes it away. Out as far as West, doesn't strike it cleanly. And it's away for a goal kick. Southam. Been out swinging from the far side. To a dangerous area. Merrimon got up. That's a goal kick. More action at this end of the field so far. Lisby. Harding. Inside to Lisby again. Rolled under his foot. Inadvertently came for West. On for Mills. This is dangerous. Shoot straight to Edwards. Lovely build-up play from the hosts. So he got a bit lucky in there with Lisby's touch, letting him down, but West was behind him, went on for Mills. Shot was straight at the goalkeeper. Edwards had a fine evening against Faversham in midweek. Here goes Clunis at the other end. Goes for goal early. And straight at Stewart. Well, that's the, probably the clearest cut opportunity either side has had so far. Wonderful ball by Michael Chambers. It was a similar ball to how Clunis scored at Kingstonian last month. Well controlled by Southam. West has made a great run down the line here. He's been picked out by Hamilton. West sends in the cross. Weatherstone's there ahead of Mills. Well placed to clear. Well, Mike West should take a lot of credit there. He made a tremendous run. Hamilton sends in the cross. Lisby gets up. Glances had a wide. Cargway won't quite find Ming. Harding saw to that. Teague. Turned nicely, but then picked out Beanie with the pass. Ming, he has space. Two in the middle. One of them is Tomlin. Ming's continued his run. Goes down. Wants a penalty. No, says the referee. Ming, the one asking the question, so was Tomlin. As were the Dulwich fans behind that uh, goal they're attacking. This one was too close to the goalkeeper. This one again. It's comfortable for Stewart. Lisby trying to counter attack quickly. Teague, Mills is making stride in the middle. He's unmarked it, Danny Mills. Just a little behind him. Weatherstone can come back. Mills still shoots. Tame shot and straight at Preston Edwards. Look for a moment, it could have been so much worse there for Dulwich. The ball in just allowed Weatherstone to get back and that may well have put off Mills a little bit. 
Some really uh, silky moves in there. Still goalless. Remember, of course, it doesn't have to be decided today. We'll go to replay Tuesday night at Champion Hill. Judging by Whitehawks running this competition this season, you wouldn't uh, bet against that happening again. Here's Drage. And West has nicked it off him. In for an early chance, and they scored Whitehawk. Well, Drage put the first challenge in on Kevin Lisby, but West was there to steal in. And Drew Edwards off his goal line and rolls it underneath him. Inside 35 seconds of the second half, Dulwich find themselves behind. As I, say, I thought Drage had done brilliantly to uh, dispossess Kevin Lisby. But West was there, stealing behind his sixth goal of the season. And all of a sudden, Dulwich have a bit more of an uphill task on their hands. Brought it down in the end. Edwards with the stronger foot to send downfield. Abdullah, West, cannons off Beanie, Carew. Can Dulwich counter attack here? He's got Mings streaming forward to his right. He's get bodies in the box. Mings sends it in. Flashed all the way through for a goal kick. A lot of power in the cross from Ming. No one there, though, to nod home. And Dulwich do have Demibi DeMarco back on the bench today, although he's not 100% yet. I well, think Gavin Rose will want to risk him to keep alive this uh, trophy dream. So still chasing the game with little time remaining. Southam with a hooked pass out for Harding. It's a nice ball. Teague. Can't beat the first man, Weatherstone away. Harding sends across. Dangerous ball looking for Mills. We got the last touch. Not sure he knew too much about it. I think Chambers maybe put him off a little. And deflected wide from Danny Mills. Chambers. Only finds Ahmed Abdullah. Southam. Plays it down this right hand side. It's West. Dangerous ball in. What a save that is. And again by Edwards. Two great saves by the Dulwich goalkeeper. And he's kept the score at just 1-0. Mills hooked it goalwards. Edwards repelled him. Not once, but twice. Dulwich are finding these crosses. Time and time again, finding the goalkeeper. Good release from him. Harding. Bring it over the halfway line for his side. Early ball looking for Lisby. Missed touch from Drage. Lisby's got a chance maybe to add a second for his side. Took his eye off the ball. In the end, it fizzled out quite tamely. Ming, clearance goes straight up in the air, gets a second go at it, I'm sure. Teague's nicked it off him. Trying to pull it back, no one's there though. Only Nathan Green. Clunis back to Green. Tomlin, lovely flick, and Clunis might be in behind now. And Bongu's come across to try and close him down. Still Clunis, straight at Flitney. No power in the uh, final shot, unfortunately, for Clunis. Lovely flick on into his path by Tomlin. That was kept it in play and got a good distance on the clearance. Carew, well brought down. Almost took too long. Weatherstone. We're going to see Sakaja come on for Dulwich very shortly. Kagbo. Ming. In towards Tomlin. Right in their post. Might get another chance, Gavin Tomlin. Didn't really make a clean connection with the shot, did he? And again, it's comfortable for the goalkeeper. Chambers stronger than Mills, well played from him. Poor touch from West, only found Ming. Looking to drive past Mike West now, he's done just that. Clunis to his right. Got a bit of space away from Harding for a moment. Dan Harding's come back at him now. Clunis trying to get the burners on. Blocked by West, the cross. Not a great clearance, Cargbo. In towards Tomlin, 1-1! One, one. It's Gavin Tomlin! What a great header that is into the bottom corner and the away side draw level. Credit the cross 
from Ibrahim Kogbo. Picked out his man perfectly. And Tomlin just directed his header. Pass flitting into the bottom corner. And Dulla just still alive in this year's FA Trophy. Tenth goal of the season for Tomlin. What a finely poised game we've got again now. Dulwich on top at the moment. Kargbo hasn't always been the case in this game. Ming. Kargbo rejuvenated from that goal. On for Carew. Did well to control and on it goes for Green. What can they conjure up in towards Tomlin again? He gets another. Oh no, he's done it again. It's Gavin Tomlin with his second goal in a matter of minutes. And Dulwich have turned this game on its head. Another cross, another header, finds the corner again. It's the Gavin Tomlin show. Brilliant build-up play. Carew, you've got to credit him. Able to control it, looked like it was beyond his reach. Played it to his left. Green coming forward. Floated in the cross into a dangerous area again. Tomlin in between the two defenders. Flicked it goalwards. As I say, Dulwich have turned the game on its head. 15 minutes to go, 2-1 they lead. Green needs some support from a teammate. He's got it from Beanie. And they're back with Drage. Well found out there by Kenny Beanie. Drage, Carew, lovely ball by Matt Drage. For the space for Ming, if Carew wants to use him. In towards Clunas instead. And flick goalwards by Marimon. Flitney was alert to it. Chambers and Beanie got each other's way. No harm done. Cargo finds crew. Dulwich enjoying the lion's share of possession at the moment. Ming. Looking for Clunis. And Bongu should get there first. Weak back pass. It's Clunis. Can he tee up Tomlin in the middle? Pulls it back. Carew for three. It is! What a second half this has been from Dulwich. A bit of fortune going their way. But they've made Whitehawk pay for it. And... May have one foot into the next round now. Ten minutes to go. It's Carew on the score sheet. Good awareness from Clunis. Chased and Bongu down. There's a weak back pass attempt from the Whitehawk defender. Clunis came onto the ball, pulled it back. Carew was there to hammer home an empty net. Dulwich 3 1 up. What a second half it's been here at the enclosed ground. Green, here goes Tomlin, surely there's not more in them. Tomlin holds up the ball well. Chambers, here goes Green, well found by Michael Chambers. Green can take a touch. In it comes. They look like they're going to score every time they come forward at the moment. Beanie, Cargbo, why not? Oh, what a save that is from Flitney. That was destined for the roof of the net from Ibrahim Cargbo. Well, they fancy their chances from anywhere on the field. Beanie. Weatherstone. Carew. Tomlin. Lovely back heel. Carew again. No foul by Abdullah there. Whitehawk, importantly for them, have the ball back. Mills. Chambers looking for green. Hamilton got the touch. Here's Danny Mills. What have they got left in their locker? The home side. Might be a silver lining if they were to be knocked out. Focus on survival in the National League South. Here goes Glenn Southam. Able to come on a long way with the ball. Here's Teague. Dan Harding. He lines up the shots. Bit of a miscue. Chambers. Position to clear. Carew. Through the middle. Gavin Tomlin. He's one on one. This with a hat trick. Trying to chip it. Straight at Flitney. Skadji goes to mark the keeper. Surprisingly, or well unsurprisingly, I say, it's gone short. Tomlin. That's lovely skill from Gavin Tomlin. Can they seal this? Tomlin! Just wider than their post. Well, he oozes class and skill. Pretty deep one. Edwards got a little flick on it. Back into a dangerous area. Rodriguez is there. Hook goalwards. And off the goal line. I think it's the captain, Kenny Beanie, who's done his job superbly there. 
Green away. Up to Tomlin. Controls ahead of Harding. And to his left is Sakadja. He's through on goal now. This for four. Round the keeper goes down. It's a penalty. This to add the gloss to an immense afternoon for Dulwich Hamlet Football Club. Saved by the keeper. Cruz there. He doesn't miss the rebound. Dulwich well and truly through to the last 16. Carew with his second of the afternoon. Whitehawk one, Dulwich Hamlet four. An afternoon to savour for the visitors. Flitney did well, dived the right way from the uh, penalty. It was a good height for him. Strong save, but parried it back into the mix. And Carew was able to nod it home despite the best efforts of the goalkeeper. His second deep in stoppage time. Southam. Rodriguez, nice turn. On he goes, Lucas Rodriguez. Goes for goal. Puts it over the crossbar. And that's the full time whistle. And Dulwich Hamlet are into the last 16 of the FA Trophy for the first time since 1984. They were 1 0 down with 18 minutes to go. But Gavin Tomlin popped up with a header which he then replicated three minutes later to change the game, turn it on its head. And then Ashley Carew with the two late goals of his own. First a tap in from a Naira and Clunis pullback. Then he uh, converted the rebound after he saw a penalty saved in injury time. Mike West within 35 seconds of the second half had put Whitehawk ahead to uh, seemingly put them in control in this cup tie. Back Dulwich came and what a last 18 minutes it was. Final score then at the enclosed ground as Dulwich go through for the first time to the last 16 in 33 years is Whitehawk 1, Dulwich Hamlet 4. So Gavin, in almost eight years of being in charge, where does this rank amongst your memorable achievements? Uh, it's a great, great result today. Um, good performance. I thought second half we really grew into it, um, even after going a goal down, which was great. Um, showed a lot of confidence in each other and in, in, in individually as well. Um, great performance. Obviously, our, our main thing is to win leagues uh, and get the team promoted. So um, it ranks high, but obviously perspective uh, is more about us getting uh, up the leagues. So Gavin, how delighted are you with that second half turnaround? Uh, very delighted, you know, we were letting a sloppy goal, uh, but it showed a lot of character uh, for us to come back like we did and, and the performance we showed in the second half, so I'm very pleased. <coughs> Have you been involved in a 20 minutes like that at the end? Um, yeah, a couple of times actually. Um, you know, it's a great feeling. It doesn't happen too often, so you know, we've got to save in a moment, so it's really good. It's only the third time the club's been the last 16 and the first time in 33 years, that's got to mean something. Yeah, definitely. I love breaking breaking records and, and making history. So uh, that's one that we can all take credit for. But um, you know, I don't, don't know who we've got next. But we'd love to have another challenge and see where we can go from there. Did you see that come in the last 18 minutes for being one 0 down at the time? Yeah, I did. I, I thought I thought uh, around goal we were a little bit um, tentative, but I thought there was opportunities for us. Um, and obviously, once the goal went in, the game sort of changed. I thought uh, Whitehawk had the, the mentality to try and beat us, which <clears throat> we face teams who don't have that mentality, and they end up capitalising against us. So I thought yeah, the, the difference in quality today actually helped us. And we the mentality of a team that wanted to win the game, and it gave us opportunities to win it ourselves. Two goals for yourself as well to back up the goal from midweek. You feel back in amongst the goals now? Yeah, exactly. You know, I had my little rest, um, you know, and I'm feeling pretty good and, and confident in front of goal. So long may it continue. Being nil-nil at half time, you must have been quite delighted with that. And then to see that goal go in, I think 30 seconds second half, must have been uh, must have been uh, a real hard one to take. Yeah, it was a hard one to take because we'd spoken about you know how they could hurt us, and literally had nothing to do with anyone but Matty having a lapse in concentration really and um, I think he recovered well I thought we recovered well it took us a little bit of time and I thought after that they probably could have maybe nicked another opportunity to score which mentally would have been draining for us but um, I think we, we rid the storm and um, we built ourselves into the game and uh, credit to us because uh, coming 1-0 down to a good team uh, and coming back to, to even win is, a, is, a, is an achievement uh, let alone score four goals.
the experienced heads in your team really took the game to the White Oak in the second half. The likes of Tomlin and Carew, obviously two goals each, but the Beanie as well, they really put in uh, massive performances. Yeah, they did. All three of them did. I thought Ibrahim Carbo was unbelievable, covering a lot of ground, uh, tackling, encouraging people. I thought he was fantastic. Well, Kenny Beanie, um, Ashley's um, ability started to shine through. Uh, and Gavin Tomlin, uh, we know he's one of those people that uh, when he gets on a run, <coughs> um, even during the game, he, he turns into a different player, you know. And uh, I thought the last half an hour showed uh, his quality again, how good he really can be. We've got a lot of experience between us in terms of the amount of games we've played. We've been in this situation many times before going one nil down to a sloppy goal so you know we kind of rallied the boys and, and then it showed in the second half. Obviously I know teams set up differently against you in the league like you already mentioned that they can be a bit more defensive and not as open but by getting a second half result like that the, the way you turn things around can you use this as momentum in the league? Yeah we can do I think that's what it's all about now we're in the, the, the winning season now really I call it um, well, we need to you know just focus on how we win games from, from game to game and literally this is a good confidence boost for the boys and we need to just uh, capitalise on it in our next game. It's, it's good to show uh, uh, a character you know and, and repetition is the father of all learning I believe so you know it's good that we keep the habits going and we want to win every game that we, that we play you know from now to the end of the season it doesn't matter if it's a cup or league game that's that's the aim who would you prefer would you like a nice big uh, national league side the next round why not any team any team i'm not really fussed you know as long as we keep progressing you know and keep putting in those kind of performances